Welcome to this video on how to use while loops in Java. My name's Andy Wicks and the code for this example was generated by Dr. Kate Finney, Dr. Don Cowell and Dr. Chris Walshaw of the University of Greenwich. Before I get into the complexities of this program, in fact it's very simple, let me show you the program running. It asks me how many stars I'd like. So let's suppose I ask for five stars. I click the OK button and I get five stars at the bottom in the output area here. It's a very simple little program. And what it does is it checks to see whether a, a variable called counter is less than a variable called num and prints out a star each time. Let me explain in detail. First of all, I'm going to set up the J option pane. Well, that's nothing complicated. We've seen that in many earlier videos. That just asks us how many stars we want. The J option pane show input dialog creates a string. So next we have to convert that string into an integer. And finally, I'm going to set up a counter, an integer, and that's zero. So I have three variables, a string variable and two integer variables that I'm actually going to use for this loop. Now we come on to the bit that matters, that matters for this video at least. We're going to have a while statement and a while statement must have some sort of logic after it, a condition that is either true or false. Counter being less than num is either true or false. So for example when I typed in 5 num became the number 5. We originally set counter to 0 and 0 is less than num. Now if it is less than num we print out a star and then we add one to the counter. Plus plus means add one. Now the counter having started at zero now becomes one. Because the counter's one it is still less than the number I asked for which was five. So we go round the loop again. It prints another star, adds another one to the counter making it two counter is still less than 5, so I print another star. Counter becomes 3, 3 is still less than 5, so I print another star, add 1 to counter, counter becomes 4. 4 is less than num, so it prints yet another star, adds 1 to counter making it 5, and now 5 is not less than 5, so the loop stops. This bit of logic will stop when the counter becomes the same as the number of stars we asked for. Finally, all I'm doing is outputting a print line so that we get the next set of system comments on the next line. If I comment that out, you'll see what happens when I run the program again. Shift F6. I'm going to put in 5 because I want 5 stars. And you'll see that the uh, system out print line merely forces the build successful to the next line. While loops are used an awful lot in programming. Get used to them.